Catch Questions Academy Volume Two. Thanks for watching my video. Let me start my brief introduction. I'm from Japan, which is one of the biggest iPhone market. Most of the Japanese love iPhone. So, how about selling your app globally like me? Please visit my website for more information. I'm also doing Twitters. Please follow me if you like. Now let's begin. Today, the, I will show you how to create a countdown date timer with calendar functions. First,、uh, let me、uh, copy and paste my code, uh, and uh, uh, I will explain the properties. When we calculate our current time, that we use a date functions, and uh, uh, this means uh, uh, we can cal calculate、uh, three days after the app is started. And uh, next, uh, these red letters uh, means uh, we have some missing information,、uh, so we have to fix the to build、uh, the simulators. So、uh, I will add the struct time views、uh, below this part.、And、next, let's check the some functions、uh, in this struct.、Uh, um, I would like to explain that these functions.、Um, this function is uh, called uh, with a one second time interval repeatedly.、Uh, As you know, the calendar time that change as time goes by. So the difference between the set times and the calendar times, and、uh, the the difference time can be the、uh, countdown. In this function, the、uh, uh, time information、uh, is extracted. And、uh, it will be changed to the string letters, and you can format the time informations、uh, as you want. Okay, it seems fine for my code. So、uh, now see, I will show you、uh, how to work in simulators.、Uh, please see the left side simulators. The app is started now. And、uh, countdown begins.、Uh, in this property to date,、uh, the variable is created right after the app is started. So the the time difference between the current date and set date、uh, can be the countdown. Because the、uh, current time、uh, change as time goes by, so、uh, when I change it to hour, the、uh, in, in this time the five hours difference is created, so the countdown of five hours、uh, can start. So you can change it as you want、uh, for your original timer functions. It's very easy, and you can also change the letters as you want. And so you can create the, the, the original countdown timers. In this time, the let change it to the change it from birthday to retirement. Let's see the this code in simulators on the left side. So you can see the the letter of retirement is showing now, and twenty、uh, days of countdown can also be created now. Next, I would like to show you the、uh, time intervals. Let me change it to the minutes, and、uh, the value is one. And、uh, I would like to show you these functions.、Uh, Time interval.、Uh, um, the time interval was one, but、uh, let me change it to three.、Uh, now, the, the, this function is、uh, repeatedly called、uh, by one second, but、uh, in this time, the, the, this function is called with、uh, the three time interval. 
So you can see the, the timer the, is uh, changed uh, by three seconds. So I changed the parameter from one to three. So that's why the uh, time interval worked strangely. Finally, the I will show you the we can change uh, the timer information, uh, including the letters. Um, and uh, this style of the format uh, is what you should remember. Uh, it's very convenient. The string which include the uh, time information can be shown like this. Uh, so you can change the uh, later part like this uh, with the uh, time information. Uh, the days information is here and the uh, seconds information is here. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching my videos. Uh, my source code uh, is on the YouTube comment, so you can uh, learn the this code uh, when you have, you have a free time. Uh, please subscribe my channels uh, for the latest information. Uh, thanks.